Hello and welcome to today's HIT session. Um, so I've stayed away from squats for the last couple of sessions to give your knees a rest. Um, and I want to come back to them because we need to strengthen up that area. All right, so we're going to do um, not a very nice squat exercise, but we have to turn it into a HIT exercise by making it that little bit more difficult. Just pause there, make sure you've warmed up. I want to make sure you've done maybe a little jog or a walk and done a little bit of stretching before we start, just to make sure that you're all ready. So I'm going to demonstrate the first exercise, just talking as I'm setting my watch, so we're ready to go with our 30 seconds. What I want you to do is sit back into your heels and bring your arms up to the front with each squat like that. As high as you can, the higher you try and get the arms like that, the harder it is, I promise you, I'm sorry. So we have 30 seconds, I'm gonna stay side on, off we go. Good, sitting back into your heels. There's something really difficult about lifting those arms as high as you can with each one of these. Good, keep breathing, sitting back into your heels, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your bum to come back up tall. Each one. Just waiting for my watch to buzz. That tells me we've stopped. Good, nearly there. I predict this is the last one. And there we go. So, as you all know so far, you'll have worked out that I do like shoulder bridges in between these squats. So on your backs, tucking under, curling up, pushing your knees away, and 30 seconds of this one too. Nice and slow, squeezing your bum, pushing your knees away, breathing in, breathing out, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. I'm predicting I'm going to be interrupted with this session today because the kids are getting on with their home learning. We're still on coronavirus lockdowns, the last week of school. That's for anyone who's not doing them immediately, <laughs> as you all know. Brilliant. So next set of 30 seconds with these squats. Lifting the arms up as high as you can. That's the trick, getting the arms as high as you can. You'll notice mine stop about there because when you're in a squat, the body's angled forwards and that's as high as they go. So, three, two, one, off we go. Squeeze your bum on the way up. Brilliant. Push your hips forward, squeeze your glutes. Sitting back into your heels as you squat going at whatever speed you can handle. Good. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Back down to the shoulder bridges. Heels close to your bum, tucking under, curling up and curling back down. <sighs> Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Three, two, one, and coming back up again. I always feel like you can put some music on in the background with these. I can't because of copyright on YouTube, but um, make sure you put some music on to keep yourself going. Good. Next set. Three, two, one, off we go. Lifting those arms as high as you can. You can add weight to your arms if you want to. If you struggle with the arms, of course, do these squats with your hands on your hips. Good. It's not good to say in the last 15 minutes of three exercises, is it? Good. Three, two, one. Brilliant. I get that right almost every time because the watch buzzes. I know 30 seconds, I do so many of these HIT workouts and I hope you get as sold on them as I am. Somebody's told me today, Caroline, um, that she can already feel her clothes a little bit looser after doing the HIT workouts so far, so isn't that fantastic? Well done, Caroline. Um, so, on to your front. We're going to work through these press-ups. So it's going to be one press-up, push up onto your toes, lift one leg, lift the other leg. So it's a bit of a combination exercise. Press up, lift, one leg. The other leg, I'm just going to take this um, out. Good. Good. Okay, so onto your knees, hip forward, you can do box press ups. If your press ups 
you want to come and give it a bit of a wind your hands or bring them forward if your wrists are a little bit sore. So three, two, one. Press up, leg lift, leg lift. Brilliant. Good work, halfway. Keep your tummy strong, using those glutes to lift the legs, but don't lift them too high. You'll notice I'm just lifting them in line with the body, not higher, not arching the back. Good. And we're there, stop there. On your front, arms down by your sides, tap your chin, lengthen the back of the neck, or can tap the under shoulders up, hands up, hands down, shoulders down. Sorry to stop. Shoulders up, hands up, hands down, shoulders down. 30 seconds. Relaxing your breathing. Good. We're slowing down. I don't know why I started moving so fast. Shoulders, hands, hands, shoulders. Sometimes you feel like the whole thing will move much faster if you do. And stop there. So, so back to this combination press up exercise. Um, make, make sure your bottom's down if you're doing these half press ups, and obviously hands in like that if you're doing box press ups. Three, two, one, off we go. Press up. So, uh, if you keep your feet in position there, and that's good. And another little tip that I use sometimes is instead of being quite so jerky, when you do your press up, push up straight away onto your toes. That can help you to progress to a full press up. That's on your bucket list. Spread your bucket list. <laughs> and stop there. Come down onto your front. Arms down by your sides. Shoulders up, hands up, and just pulse the hands up and down. Bottom under, tummy in. Chin tucked. Relax your breathing. Pulsing those hands up and down, constantly stretching down towards your toes. So the added benefit of these HIIT workouts is they're so condensed. We get these Pilates exercises in between, which are fantastic. We can stop there. If you're doing press-ups, you're working the front. And then the lovely Pilates exercise in between pulls the shoulders back, back and improves your posture. So we have one more of these. Onto, onto your front, into a press up position. Three, two, one, off we go. Press up, lift, leg, leg. Push. Countdown is quite slow when you're doing big exercises like this. Last one, press up, lift. Brilliant. Good work, guys. That's two out of three exercises down. And we've got one more to go, and the kids are laughing inside. So that's good. It means I can continue on happily. So the next exercise, let me cut this in here so that everybody's got good sound. Lovely. So what we're going to do is come over to the side. I'm going to demonstrate this one first, so don't feel like you, you can have practice anyway, but don't start the exercise. Coming over to the side like that, that's your starting position, and then elbow to knee, elbow to knee. This is a take on a Pilates exercise, which is this, which Meghan Markle was pictured doing before her wedding. <laughs> I'll always remember that picture. Um, I've got a picture of me doing it and her doing it in, the, in my Instagram just to see. <laughs> Who does it better? Me, obviously. Okay, so three times. We're gonna do 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side, and then 30 seconds we do, we split in the middle. I'll show you how we do that. Three, two, one. Over to the side, stretch out, off we go. Elbow to knee. Be careful not to crack your elbow on your knee. You wouldn't have thought it, but your elbow comes off worse because you tend to hit your funny bone. <laughs> Draw in your tummy. And um, you, uh, it is typical to feel it on the bottom glute. You shouldn't have a lot of weight on this hand. You could almost be on the fingertips there. And notice my knees just underneath my hip. Three, 
two, one. Good. Okay, so we're going to come down, back down on that same side there. You can either be on the elbow or flat. I always prefer to be up on the elbow and lift that knee. I think I'm a bit of a meerkat. I like to be up looking at what's going on. Good. Draw in your tummy. 30 seconds here, so we're just a bit of a double whammy on the glutes. Like I say, we want to stay as condensed with this workout as we can. Just 15 minutes, get it all in. Three, two, one. Okay, other side. Up on the knees, remember, go over to that side, up on the fingertips or the hand, but make sure it's nice and soft and that knee is underneath that hip. So, three, two, one, over to the other side and off we go. Good, stretch right out each time. Extend the leg out, extend the arm out. Good, squeeze in your tummy. Work, work, work. Great on the glutes. There's glutes on that bottom leg will be feeling it almost just as much. Three, two, one, brilliant. Come down on that side up on the elbow if you want to be and lift in that top knee good you can close it if you want to keep breathing and slow these down I'm the worst for doing these fast in between the in between exercise should always be the one where it lets you regroup get your breath back get ready for the next exercise and what it either does is works the opposite muscle group or it works the group that you're trying to work like a, a superset or a double whammy so we're going to do 15 seconds each side so we're going to go to the original side first three two one off we go stretch out good stretching as far as you can with these movements elbow to knee pulling in using your abs Great one for your abs, there isn't a sitter. Good. Gosh, I almost forgot to change. We almost did 25 seconds on that side. So let's just do a big old set for this last one. Nothing to stop us. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Brilliant. So the stretch for your glutes is crossing your legs like this and leaning forwards. For some reason that gets that, those side glutes, that glute need, the exercise, the, the muscle that we're working on that exercise. Good. So maybe some floor stretches today. You can stretch for much longer, but I try to make these workouts as short as I can. Lunge and back so they're not too intimidating to look at so you can stretch for much longer afterwards you can always hop onto my channel and find a stretching workout that appeals to you swap legs and forwards and back brilliant Ooh. so getting the hip flexor and then the hamstring there lovely arch the back and then sit back on the heels. So nice dynamic stretches here, arch the back. For the long holding ones you will want to hold for much longer. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> Complete sense. Too obvious. All right, lovely. So thank you for joining me today. Make sure you um, get rehydrated. It, um, there are warm days in the summer um, so make sure you have some water like this video if you do indeed like it share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel if you are watching the videos regularly it makes it much easier if you subscribe and it's fantastic for me take care guys bye